going on guys today I'm gonna to show you guys why you need an uh, oil catch can as you can see it's practically full already so I'm gonna take it off empty it and show you guys all the gunk that would normally go into your intake is caught by this but first let's check the oil see how that's doing looks like it's right about half I guess you could add a little bit just just so it's full that way when it does burn some oil it starts burning it from the full mark not from the halfway mark so halfway we're good that's a good sign I guess might as well add some oil since we're here now I got this uh, air oil separated from Grim Speed uh, I heard mixed reviews on it honestly it does an okay job when it comes to like regular driving but when you're driving the car hard like autocross or just going high speeds like I did before because when I went autocrossing this thing was about a third of the way full and after autocross it was still a third of the way full but then the next day driving on the uh, turnpike I got up to 150 miles an hour and then it just went up by like more than double I was like what the fuck so it works fine just for daily driving but if you're doing hard driving you might want to get a better one more expensive one or at least get a oil catch can I like to use the Castrol Edge 5W30 oil, it does the job well. It's nearly at the full mark. I will add a tiny bit more. That's good. Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. You? Alright. I'm going to go put that video on YouTube. Alright, I'm going to take off the uh, catch can now. It takes 10 millimeter. As you guys can see, look at look at all this oil in here. Of course, when I tilt it, it's about three quarters of the way full. All of this basically going into your intake. As that's the same thing if you took off your air filter and just dumped it into the intake. All of this fucking oil. So I'll see you guys inside and empty this out. 
Alright guys, I got the oil catch can out. As you can see, this is about after four or five thousand miles of driving. It's about three quarters of the way full with like one autocross event and although after the autocross event it didn't really look like it filled up, it was still like around around here. But when I noticed it it got pretty full is right when I was on a turnpike the other day and I got up to about 150 miles an hour and then after that I checked it and like it went up like double so I was like okay apparently going really fast but may, may cause it to burn a lot of oil so let's see how we can uh, open this thing and pour all this goodness out that if it wasn't for this would end up in your in your engine where your pistons are which isn't good so basically you might as well took this can opened up your air box, poured it into the air box where air would get sucked in because this is basically where it goes, so this just catches it. The AOS does an okay job, but under extreme condition it, it, it fails and so that's why I got the catch can and this is where it goes. So let's see how you, uh, how do you fucking get this open? I might just do this. Yep, alright, that's fine. So let's pour this out into this, this glass right here and just look at all of this crap that can potentially enter your engine and cause... This is, this is the main cause for ringman failure right here. Look at this. Look at this, all this fucking oil ending up in, in, in your engine where oil does not belong. Basically this goes into your intake and into your uh, pistons where fuel gets injected, gets mixed with the fuel, lowers the fuel octane rating of the fuel. The lower the octane rating, the greater chance of knock because with this you might as well put uh, 87 octane gas in it. Why bother putting in 93 or 91? You might as well put in 87 because get, when, it, when like so premium gas gets mixed with oil, it lowers the octane rating which will cause knock and uh, ring land failure. So. Honestly, no, if, you, if you own a Subaru or any car in general that's like turbo, that's a performance car, I would, like an older, a newer one, I would highly recommend getting an, an AOS or a catch can like this because all of this oil right here, see all this oil? This would have ended up in your engine and caused you ring land failure. So, you know, the reason these newer cars have this happens to newer cars is because you can thank the EPA for this the environment environment protection agency because they basically they have their hands on the government balls and because of that yeah your car will run uh, it'll burn less get like it'll just run cleaner the emissions will be better for them but because of that this happens so that's why you need an aftermarket catch can if it wasn't for the EPA, the car would come with something similar to this, but it doesn't. So this is this is what you end up with. I think what they have right now it's called the uh, shit. I forget what it's called. Let me think. Fuck. I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what it's called, but I just can't think of what it is right now. Uh. Whatever. But yeah, get an oil catch can, or this is. This right here ends up in, in your engine, so let me try and get every last drop out of this. This catch can is on the, a little bit on the smaller side, so, but I don't know how much, how much oil do you think this is, like, pint of oil? I don't know. Definitely don't want this where it doesn't belong, so. Catch can doing its job. If it wasn't for the AOS, there would be a lot more oil in here, a lot quicker. The AOS does some of the work, but not all of it under, under extreme conditions. When it fails, it passes through the uh, passes through the uh, into the catch can that catches that oil, just in case. This is like a a fail a fail switch right here, fail safe, as they call it. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this thing up. Get it back on the car and we're good to go again. So, remember, get a fucking oil catch can for your car, please. If you don't want ring lamp failure, just get this. It's literally 
less than a hundred dollars probably like 50 60 bucks whatever type of, you know depends but it shouldn't be more than a hundred bucks for a fucking oil catch can very first thing before you even fucking drive the car off the fucking uh, dealership fucking put this in your fucking car because look at this do you want this in your in your pistons no the only thing you want there is gasoline not fucking oil so that is it guys peace and see ya